tonight on Be Something Wonderful, how to move with that dimensionally larger you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I met with one of my clients today, and, and he said, Tom, I'm really struggling with leaving the past behind. I, I, I feel stuck in the past. I really want to move to where the state of my desires are. I really want to move with what you call that dimensionally larger you, what you and Neville refer to as that dimensionally larger you, but I just feel stuck. Well, guys, we're going to talk about a breakthrough that we had today and more. So the first thing that we talked about and what I want to say tonight is it's not about leaving your past behind. It, when you try to leave your past behind, you keep it current in your reality. Hear this. When you try to resist the past, when you resist the memories, when you, when you resist the feelings, and you try to leave the past behind, you make it more current and more real in your current reality. You are dragging the past forward into your current reality. Right? And so it's not about leaving your past behind. It's about not leaving that dimensionally larger you behind. Hear this. This is big. I'm going to say that again. It's not about leaving your past behind. It's about not leaving that dimensionally larger you behind. Why? Because we know that past, present, and future is all happening right now. That there is no such thing as linear time that moves in a linear fashion from past present to future, that we feel the past is behind us. We feel it's behind us and we feel it's real and that we can't shake it, right? Whereas the past does exist along with the present and along with the future, right? And that it's not about leaving it behind, it's about not leaving that larger, dimensionally larger you behind. Here it is, when you are stuck in the past, you leave that dimensionally larger you behind, right? And, and so it's not about, it's not about um, leaving your past behind. It's about seeing that past through that dimensionally larger you. It's about not leaving that dimensionally larger you behind, but rather seeing that past through that dimensionally larger you. Hear this. Here's, the, here's your present. Here's the, the, the present reality, the 3D reality. This is your past and your present, but it's all the past. It doesn't matter if it was five minutes ago, two minutes ago, or three seconds ago, or 30 years ago, as my client was talking about. He said, for the last 30 years, it just seems like I've been, but the, the, the same types of things have been happening over and over again. But you're reliving it, you're recreating it. Why? Because you're stuck here and you left behind you that dimensionally larger you. That's happening right now. Right? Where do you need to be? In, in that awareness center. That's where your future is created. It's not linear. It's happening right there. There you are. There's your 3D manifested reality that represents your present, which is really the past, and your far past that 30 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 5 minutes ago. It's all there. Right? And your desires are here with you in that all-powerful now, where source is, where unconditioned awareness is, where God consciousness is. All of that, all that 3D illusion is created from source. It's conditioned. It's the same with your past, the same with your present. Everything is an illusion. It's all part of that source right there. Right? So it's not about leaving your past behind. It's about not leaving your dimensionally larger you behind. Right? So what, is, um, what does Neville say? N knowing that nothing is impossible to consciousness, begin to imagine states beyond the experiences of the past. We get locked down, up in that past. We get locked up in that, those past experiences. We try to leave them behind. And when we try to leave them behind, what we resist persists. And we keep them alive in our present our present 3D reality and we create a very similar future over and over again. So it's not about leaving the past behind, it's about returning to that dimensionally larger you in that awareness center and creating the future of your desire. This is big and, and really we had a breakthrough today with, with my client. As we talked about these ideas, he told me we started talking about dreams. And I said, well, dreams are, is when you're visiting really that dimensionally larger you. That's that, that's that dimensionally, that's, you're, you're visiting all those past, present, and future probable realities. Right? It's, it, it, it's just another reality that you're visiting. He goes, well, I just, I, I, I don't have any evidence of that, that dimensionally larger me in my life. I don't have, and I've never had any evidence. I don't feel it. 
And he goes, I can't even remember my dreams anyway. He goes, but I do remember one. And, and this is the dream. And he, says, and he says, it's very vivid to me, this dream. And he says that he was with his friends, his buddies from, from childhood, right, from 30 years ago. And that his friends, his buddies, they're all listening to the song by Pink Floyd, Coming Back to Life. And his buddies are like rocking to it and saying it's brand new, like they've never heard it before. And, and what, what um, my client noticed in his dreams is that they all looked young, yet they, all, they were all the age they are now. Hear this, that's how dreams are, right? But they're all the current age, but they all looked like they were 30, 30 years younger. While they're listening to this song by Pink Floyd, the, the name of it, Coming Back to Life, right? And, and his friends saying to my client, no, this is a brand new song. My client's insisting that it's a song they knew from 30 years ago, that it's an old song. Wow, what a powerful dream hear this, right? Even the lyrics of the song saying, up, it says about, I knew the moment had arrived for killing the past and coming back to life. Wow, this dream is, that's the dimensionally larger you. That's my client. That's the evidence, right? Think of it as, as, as his friends are telling him that this song that he said is old 30 years ago, they're listening to it as new. It's saying, look at the past through that dimensionally larger you. Look at that 30 years ago through now, through that dimensionally larger, more powerful, more wiser you. That's why he knew that they were the same age as they are right now, but they looked 30 years younger. Why? Because you're looking through the eyes of that dimension larger you. Why did the song coming back to life and his friends think it was new? Because they're looking through the eyes of that dimension larger you. So it's never about leaving the past behind. The past is there. Just leave it alone and look at it. Leave it alone. Stop messing with it and look at it through that dimension larger you, through that more powerful you, through that divine you. This is a powerful message. That is how to move with that dimensionally larger you. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com, or write me anytime at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.